Hello everyone, I am Sada Shorao and welcome to Sada Learning Hub. Today session we are going to learn thread priorities. Every thread in Java has some priorities. It may be a default priority generated by the JVM or explicitly provided by the programmer. The valid range of the thread priorities is 1 to 10 but not 0 to 1 where 1 is the least priority and 10 is the highest priority. Thread classes defines the following consisting of following constants to represent the sum of the standard priorities. These are the min priority, max priority and norm priority. There are no constants like thread.low priority and thread.high priority. Thread scheduler uses these priorities while allocating the CPU. The thread which is having a highest priority will get chance for the first execution. If two threads having the same priority, then we can't expect exact execution order. It depends on the thread scheduler whose behavior is vendor dependent. We can get and set the priority of the thread by using the following methods. Get priority and set priority. The allowed values are 1 to 10, otherwise we will get runtime exception saying illegal argument exception. Next, I am going to discuss about the default priority. The default priority only for the main thread is 5. But for all the remaining threads, the default priority will be inheriting from the parent to child. That is, whatever the priority parent has by default, the same priority will be for the child also. For example, I can show you one example here. See, I am creating a one class, my thread extending, my thread is extending from the thread. I am creating a thread demo. In this thread demo, I am getting the name of the thread by using thread.current thread.getName. After that, I am creating an object of my thread. I am calling T dot get name after setting the name of the thread thread dot current thread dot set name sada learning hub thread after that I am getting the name of that thread if you see this one more example here and the next example is here If you see this example, I am creating a uh, thread. After that, uh, I am setting the thread value get priority. I am getting the priority of the thread. After that, I am setting the priority of the thread by 9. Previously, it is the 5. I am setting now 9. Now, I, again, I am getting the priority of the thread. If you see this one more example here, I am extending the my thread from the extended thread. After that, I am creating my thread t is equal to new thread t dot start method. If we are if we are committing line one, this is the line one. If you are committing the line one, then the both main and the child threads will have the same priority, and hence we can't act expect exact execution order if we are not committing line 1 then child thread has the priority 10 and the main thread has the priority 5 hence child thread will get the chance for execution and after completing the child thread main thread will be get the chance in the out will be will get the chance some operating systems some operating systems like Windows XP may not be may not provide the proper support for the thread priorities. May not provide the proper support for the thread priorities. We have to install the separate uh, bats provided by the vendor to provide the support for the priorities. These are the uh, three main priorities in the thread. One is the 
min priority its uh, rating is 1 and the max priority and the normal priority the default priority thank you so much watching this video hope this lesson helpful to you keep watching our lessons keep writing to us do not forget subscribe our channel Sadot Learning Hub because we have many sessions that would help you to develop our skills and I will be back soon till then you take care bye bye.